the RX-7 was one of the heavy engines, the torque engines. RX-7, we, we used to, our family used to have an RX-7 at some point uh, back in the 90s, late 80s, 90s. And those are, they were fun cars, man. Now, 86 RX-7, 87 RX-7s. Man, what a car. I would love to own one of those cars again. Um, and nice and powerful for what it was and a heavy uh, front very heavy front and that heavy front and the car being low saved my life and my mom's life one day we were driving down the highway I was going around 130 clicks an hour or something like this if you know be British Columbia hope and it was during sunset and during sunset and sunrise deer move animals tend to move and going about 130 on a straight highway saw a deer over here did a little look over there when you see a deer if you're driving be careful deer do not travel alone right if you see one deer there are other deers there it's like a herd thing right so i looked over there and as soon as i looked in front of me there was a full-grown deer right in front of us at 130 clicks an hour boom nailed it the deer hit the front side uh, of the car lucky for us it was an rx7 that we were driving um uh, not rx um, yeah rx7 uh at the time we had a crx as well if we had hit that car hit that deer at that speed with a honda crx car would have been crushed uh chicho would probably not be here right nor chicho's mom right so that deer would have taken me and my mom out with an rx7 uh, with a crx honda crx because we were driving an rx7 it's a it's a heavy car heavy front the deer we hit it the deer flew up the top of the deer hit the top of the car lucky for us the rx7 was low otherwise it would have gone through the windshield and the deer flew and we skidded i was somehow was able to keep control i was a young kid right so i guess my reflexes were pretty good i was still able to keep control we didn't flip we didn't roll over we didn't do we didn't go down an embankment there was an embankment right beside us right and i i stopped the car and i did a little double take got out and i saw the deer sort of trying to get up and uh, he had flown he had flown like like down the embankment it was trying to get up i was like oh man i had a deer so and we were on a road trip we were going from vancouver to toronto and this is the first day first couple of hours we hit a deer damn so got in the car checked the car and the car was dented in the front you couldn't open up the hood there's hair in the in the hood and stuff like this couldn't open it we realized that we can't continue the car road trip we have to go get the car fixed it didn't look that bad but it was bad <laughs> so the car was still driving luckily took the exit came back by the time we went back that way the deer was already dead like he was done it was a full-blown full-blown deer and uh found a cop station close by reported the case and drove back and the next day car got towed to uh the mechanics to get fixed and we hopped in the rx7 and drove across the next day so we didn't wait for the car to get fixed that's my deer killing story <laughs>